Alright, hello everyone, and welcome back to Metal Gear Solid 5 The Phantom Pain. This is part 10, where you're catching me after doing uh, a lot of side ops on my own. Just been grinding up some stuff, getting all that lovely GMP, doing a whole bunch of side ops. Like, uh, we've just been, I've been running around the Afghanistan region and doing um, a lot of the ones that were on the list, um, and then the other ones, nothing substantial has happened after doing them yet um but i'm just deciding to start the episode at this point uh, i've done a lot of combat uh deployment been saving up gmp um did some good buddying with quiet so i actually got um i got quiet's um bond above 20 so we got a tranquilizer sniper which is all great base facilities stacked because we're just recruiting everybody like crazy um so it's uh, it's going pretty good so far um we're going to eliminate this tank unit um it looks like they're stationary but i was able to develop the emn mine um which you can actually just capture vehicles um peacefully you know instead of doing an anti-tank mine but i think because the tank is stationary uh, i'll just be able to fault and recovery the vehicle instead um and I thought that a side op would be a nice slow start to the episode just while I do something like this um, because going forward we will probably start focusing on main missions only because the side ops have been fairly inconsequential it's just been like you do a task you get some stuff everything's like cool it's just the gameplay loop um, which is fun um, but I'm gonna do Oh. Analysis complete. I'm gonna do more on my own um, because I'm able to pretty successfully do that and nothing substantial gets shown. Obviously I'm going to continue obviously I'm going to continue the enemy sniper. Stay low and crawl along the ground. That should enable you to sneak past enemies. Analysis complete. <gasps> Okay, what I was going to say is uh, obviously I'll include anything worthwhile um, if there's, you know, a cutscene or any dialogue or anything like that, but primarily we're, we're pretty good. We're pretty good doing this. Okay, now I think the main thing that I need to be aware of is the tank. Because I think, I think that vehicle will probably spot me pretty easily. Extraction arrived at mother base. So we'll try approach from the side. Now if I take any one of these guys out, it's going to cause a lovely lovely ruckus. Even if I'm silenced. So I'm thinking. I should be able to just rush him. There you go, see now the vehicle's spotted me. But if I quickly... Pulse and recovery you. Goodbye! Gotcha. And these guys have really good stats, so we're going to recruit these guys too. Oh yeah, baby. Actually, I think I need to... Okay, I need to get rid of this guy. Uh, he's got a B for medical and intel, so I may as well. Everyone can come to the party. No man left behind. Cool. But yeah, there's going to be more of a focus on main missions. Um, because there's quite a lot of them. There's quite a lot of them. Extraction arrived at mother base. So, like for example, number fifteen, and it doesn't feel like we've it doesn't feel like we've even dented the main missions, you know. So that's why I want to make them a bit more of a priority. Um, so, like like I've said before, and this has happened in Portable Ops, Peace Walker, these type of games where they're more mission based um, levels, is you start off showing everything and you 
like over time like refine that as we as we get used to it um so we will be like going into main missions showing as much as possible everything that's relevant um so hopefully we can start getting like a few main missions done uh each time to uh to progress through the game so i'm going to head back to the acc now and we're going to do footprints of phantoms um but when i go to the acc um, I'm probably going to do something that uh, has been left in the comments quite a few times is people keep saying that I should be going back to uh, the medical platform of Mother Base and I've gone back there before assuming that it's something to do with Quiet but Quiet is always just chilling out um, so I'm going to roam the medical platform uh, until I can find what it is that people keep asking me to, <laughs> to go there for. Um, so that's what we're going to get into now. Head back to the helicopter, go back to Mother Base, um, see what's happening on, on the medical platform. <laughs> Again. You see that in the movies? That's an automatic. Don't bother trying to dampen the recoil. You do that with a revolver. We diamond dogs. Now a force to be reckoned with. We've got the world's attention. We're not some tribal militia. So don't act like one. You will learn how a real soldier fights. You will forget everything Hollywood taught you. And if I catch you doing something else, you'll know it. Engravings. Give you no tactical advantage whatsoever. That was some fancy shooting. Pretty good. He just, um... He just copied uh, what Big Boss, what Naked Snake said to him in Metal Gear Solid 3. Because he got a revolver that had engravings on it. And obviously before he was trying to shoot him without a revolver. That's so funny. Yeah, it's like engravings give you no tactical advantage whatsoever. Because I remember there was the there was a, there was one or two there was like two meetings, two meetings that Ocelot had with Naked Snake that were involving. Thank you for letting me join Diamond Dogs. I'll give you everything. I think I've like got. Naked Snake. Um, sort of being the, the catalyst or the reason why Ocelot then becomes known as Revolver Ocelot and adopts the use of a revolver. <laughs> I genuinely I genuinely think that's a really amazing uh, really amazing callback. I actually love that. Cool. So that's what happened as soon as I've revisited Mother Base and I can see a diamond down here. Forget everything that you know from Hollywood. Give me that. All right. Well, we're on the medical. Uh, we're on the command platform. We did actually. I literally set my um, landing platform as the medical platform. But I think if there's a cutscene that's meant to happen, oops. If there's a cutscene that's meant to happen, uh, it'll automatically, it'll automatically um, drop you off at the uh, command, uh, the command platform instead. Please, select Please a take me to the medical platform. <clears throat> um, we'll check on quiet while we're here. 
I don't know what else. I don't know what else I'm looking for though. Hey, yeah. Yeah, it's definitely nothing to do with this place. Is it that door? Because doors are used like it's got a blue light on it. That should say that it's unlocked, right? Chain with me, boss. How about it? <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, because look, <laughs> this one's locked and it's boss. red. The one up here is blue. Mission, boss. No. Thank you, boss. Work in progress, please pardon the inconvenience. Dude, I'm so covered in blood. Dude, what? Ah! What the fuck? Snake? What the fuck? Pass. That's right. It's her. What about the bomb? We were able to remove the explosives. Both of them. Bomb! No, 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 it's okay. There's another in my... It's all right, we got it out. There's another... in my... The guided tour will be wrapped up by the time you get home. Make me proud. By the time they leave, I'll have the IAEA praising us as the poster boys for world peace. Fuck Huey. Fuck you, Huey. Something's not right. Check her again. What? Huh? Boss? Wait. Yep, it is. It was put there. Yep. It's all right. We got it out. That's an extra scene. It's okay. The other bomb. We managed it. Wait. Oh, what? It played out differently? It played out differently. What? She hit the water hard. Somehow she managed to survive <laughs> for a second anyway, time. The shock triggered some kind of amnesia. Snake, where is Professor Galvez? You mean, yeah, she still thinks it's 1974. She's got no memory of anything before that either. Cypher, the KGB, nothing. It looks to be a kind of dissociative disorder. Dissociative amnesia, where memories are blocked out to protect the mind, and dissociative identity disorder, 
whole personality changes. What we're seeing seems to be a combination of the two. She truly believes she's nothing more than a student living in 1974. Peace Day was a lot of fun. I hope we can do it again. She doesn't respond to anything that conflicts with her internal timeline. Doctor's pretty sure she's not faking it. If she had her memory, just think what she could tell us about Cypher. The photo is from that guy you brought back the other day. From the old crew. I thought it might jog her memory, but no luck. Anything else you can show her? Do you have something to show me, Snake? Dude. I give up. She's all yours. This is a missable cutscene. What the fuck is this? This is a missable cutscene. You can just not come to the medical platform and see this shit. This is so integral. <laughs> What? <laughs> this is the second time she's hit the water and survived. One after the Zeke incident. And two now. It played out different. Does that mean like... What if Ground Zeroes was like... Big Boss's like... Re like a dream... Or like um, how he's like replaying it in his head while it's already happened and he's like, you know, on the table or in a coma. So the events are like slightly different. So we just played like the, how he, how Snake remembered it, but then seeing Paz now has like re-triggered the correct chain of events where we actually got the second bomb out of uh, that particular spot, uh, unfortunately. <laughs> And like, it's like, we no, we got the other bomb out and she didn't even blow up. It was a goddamn rocket launcher from a helicopter. And she can't, she can't remember anything. Got something to show me, Snake? Can we show her stuff? This photo, it is from the other day, right? I like it a lot. I look kind of silly, but it's got a peaceful feel to it. Peace day was a lot of fun. Everyone cheered at the end, even though I missed a few high notes. We should have more events like that, Snake. Oh, this is so weird. I'm so tired. I will just lie here a while. Where'd the photo go? Dude, Chico died. Just like reading a textbook from Galvez. What the fuck? So she's got like two disorders affecting her mind that are going up at the same time with like memory and identity. And she thinks it's 1974. Only remembering that period of time. Nothing about Cypher or the KGB. I wonder if um, we can revisit her. I can't activate the iDroid. But I'm wondering if we can, when we recruit the old Mother Base members, because we keep getting photos, we can keep coming in here revisiting her and showing her the photos. Maybe. I'm wondering if she'll say something in her sleep. The real me. I am. The real me. Okay, that's... I think she might just be repeating dialogue now. Maybe we'll have to try and come back again later and show her the next photo that we got, because that was the first one, the one of Cars and Paz. The real me. Yeah, okay, so she's just going to repeat those two lines. 
Dude. What's the deal with that mission, uh, that cutscene being Extraction arrived optional? Base. This should be, this should be, uh, this should be straight up mandatory. You return that first photo, right? And then Miller goes, boss, come to the medical platform. There's something you need to see. And then you arrive here and then the cutscene shows. Like, I get the whole concept of having secret stuff to discover in your games, but when it's when the game is already pretty light on its story moments, you should probably make the story moments mandatory. <laughs> and not be like, ooh, secret cutscene. That's awesome though. Um, Pass lives. Chico was the... Chico did not survive. That's very unfortunate. Also, stop the music. Just copyright. <laughs> get away! Um, Alright. I'll get out of here, and then we're gonna go do. Uh, we're gonna go do a main mission now. That's a that's a good way to start the episode with uh, with that information. That's absolutely that's absolutely insane. Seeing how Pass had survived. We got a we got a cassette tape as well. Um, let's have a look. What's the cassette tape? Passes humming. Ah, oh, love to Terence. Wow, dude, that's insane. The way that the the ending of Ground Zeroes was um, remembered differently, and then you get to like a reveal of like it didn't actually happen that way is so interesting, so intriguing. And to see what's going on with Paz's mind. We need to unlock. We need to unlock her brain. Find out what she knows. I'm upset that Chico didn't make it, dude. Because Chico and Paz, you're like, ah, oh, yeah, they're, do they're doing away with the, the Peace Walker characters and storylines. Amanda's off in Cuba, you know, all of that kind of stuff. They don't have room for this story uh, but now they're like oh no Paz is alive and she could potentially if they were able to cure her current disorder she could blow the lid off the information related to Cypher she could be like slowly nursed back to health because she's got a positive association with Snake and the team and not that she's like a secret agent so there might be a way to like nurse her to give up the information for Cypher, but because that's a secret cutscene, part of me is worried that that plot thread actually won't go anywhere, and it's just like, you can just kind of go in there and visit her, but it won't ultimately lead to anything. Because there's a lot that you could do there. But, you know, we'll just have to, uh, we'll just have to wait and see. Uh, but we're going to jump into Footprints of Phantom. So we need to eliminate all the walker gears deployed to the Datati abandoned village. Nice. Accepted. Uh, so we'll just jump in. And I should have probably had a shower before I left. But it's alright. Apparently, um, apparently people have said that I should probably not shower for a really long time because something happens there as well. So maybe I'll just leave it. <laughs> I'll just leave it for ages, and then and then we'll see we'll see what happens. Um, eliminating Walker gear. I should be able to use Fulton recovery on the Walker gears, so I might be able to take them out. Um, but if not, I'll take in some C4 as an as an alternative. And then I've, I've only been equipping a rank 1 version of this weapon because it's so much cheaper for GMP to drop me in like that. Because uh, we've mostly been doing non-lethal anyway, so I don't even really use my primary weapon. Um, we're taking a D-Walker of our own. Um, I'm going to build up my bond with D-Dog more because he's, he's almost at maximum from what I can see here. 
D Dog, D Dog will help me. As much as quiet's been, uh, as much as quiet's been nice. Yeah, I guess we should be able to extract the um, extract the D Walkers. See what happens. Dude, whenever whenever story stuff happens in this game, it gets me it gets me absolutely hooked. <laughs> like just seeing like the big players of Metal Gear Solid all in a room together, like Miller, Big Boss, and Ocelot having a conversation about stuff is so good. Ocelot feels slightly out of place when events related to Peace Walker comes up because he was so absent. <laughs> so he's like, yeah, pass. Totally know her. Like, obviously he's been caught up to speed, but it just feels so weird, you know, to have him be one of the primary people in a cutscene around um, events that he wasn't This contract comes part of. from the People's Movement for the Liberation of Angola, also known as the MPLA. The PF at Dittati Abandoned Village has been supplied with walker gears. Your job is to eliminate them all. Destroy them, extract them, whatever you see fit. This just might get us close to the walker gear supplier, Cypher. Good luck, boss. The walker gear supplier, Cypher. Dropping off at the Dittati... The Tati Abandoned Village. Eliminate all walker gears. Or extract them and sell them. It's up to you. Plant it, please select a mission. Nice. Support platform has been completed. Unit dispatched. Just gonna deploy some more uh trying to make sure I can have these being done like as soon as possible. I'm trying to do more of these as well because people have uh, pointed out that obviously it um, reduces the cuts off the supply of uh, of things to people. Unit dispatched. Yep. Get me out of this thing. Alright, let's go do no Targets have been deployed to that outpost. Find and eliminate all of them. But this contract comes from the MPLA, the People's Movement for the Liberation of Angola. Apparently, new Western bipedal weapons have been deployed to Ditati Abandoned Village and are a threat to their troops. Our job is to eliminate them. The bipedal weapons they're talking about are, of course, Walker Gears. As I previously reported, they're already in active service with PFs in Africa. But don't you find it strange? A PF employed by the West obtains a prototype developed by the Soviets, yet the Russia-backed MPLA don't know the details. Eastern weapons technology developed in Afghanistan is being supplied to the West in Africa. Only Cypher would be capable of making something like that happen. So, boss, eliminate the Walker gears at Ditati Abandoned Village. Just like the MPLA have asked. Once you do, the PF will need to contact its supplier, giving us a chance to close in on that supplier. Cypher. Enemy presence detected. And then what if we find out that this whole time Cypher wasn't actually the supplier? Okay, let's have a look. Analysis complete. Analysis complete. Analysis complete. Analysis complete. Analysis complete. I like this guy. Marker placed. Yeah, you can actually put... Yes, I wanted to experiment there. This is the first time I've done that. You can place a marker on a specific individual. So I'd be like, I want this guy because of his skills. And you can actually do it. Now he'll just move around for a bit. That's great. Enemy Primaga placed. The map has been updated. Okay. No Walker gear. Analysis seen complete. yet. 
Marker placed. Okay. The targets have been deployed to that outpost. Find and eliminate all of them. Uh, the music right now is so nice. It's very subtle, but I love it. Analysis complete. Well, there's a prisoner. Mm, hang on. Analysis complete. I'm gonna quickly get this guy while he's isolated. So there's another prisoner here with these three. Oh. Okay. I think I can fault in here. It's far away from people. Oh my god, the put the fucking bucket, dude. That's so funny. You have arrived at your destination. Love that dude's night vision goggles, so they just like got like the one thing. Alright, we're getting you out of here because I marked you. Yeah, I meant to knock the bucket as like a distraction to just like get there, knock them off guard, you know. Subject on board. Leave the rest to us. Okay, let's get you out of here. Oh, I can get an invoice from this thing. Give me that. Analysis complete. Analysis complete. Ooh. Marker placed. All right, buddy. You're the one I want. As much as I want to blow up the anti-air radar now, I'm going to wait until I know we're all good. What's going on here, guys? I could hold him up and ask him to get down, but it will alert this guy. It will alert this guy if I did that. Speak. The map Where has been friends? updated. Thank you. Sorry, buddy. Everyone is too far away. He's coming too. Roger that. No one's giving me any information about the walker gear. But they're like, here's your prisoner.
I guess the weapons must be these things that D Dog has marked for me. Yep, they are. Cool. Found the walker gears. Dude, I love D Dog. Dude almost spotted me. If I need, if I'm going to extract the walker gears. Um, if I'm going to extract the walker gear, I need to kind of deal with everyone in this area regardless. Analysis complete. Analysis complete. Marker placed. Oh, that dude that I knocked out on the road woke up. That's a shame. I knew he'd wake up eventually. I didn't expect it to be Neo. That's fine. Everyone will just go away from me. Just chill. Nice work. Wait. Yeah. Because now everyone's going down that way. Distraction. You can designate a landing zone near the outpost. Analysis complete. Analysis complete. Marker placed. That's a target. Eliminate it any way you'd like. You have arrived at your objective. Spit it out. Get down. The map has been updated. Mine. Okay. Let's get out of here. We'll just leave the hot zone. Stealth is so satisfying in this game. I love it to pieces. Let's go, D Dog. Leave him none the wiser. So good. Run. Almost out. <laughs> Sometimes you just have to sprint for a little bit to leave the mission area. I wonder if the rain counts as having like a shower. Mission complete, boss. A shower in the mission area. And 
Yeah. We're gonna tell stories about this one, boss. Boom. Hundred percent accuracy, baby. Nice. The playing the missions in different in different ways is like immensely satisfying. But I love the stealth. The stealth is just is where it's at. It's so much fucking fun to like run around and be quiet and focus and pick people up and be like, oh, one of them is caught. Chuck him in the bin. <laughs> like that kind of stuff. I love that. I love that so much. It's uh, it's so satisfying. Boss, we were right. Once you'd eliminated those Walker gears, a resupply call was made from Dutati to CFA headquarters. The CFA then contacted none other than Sainer. That's right, the shell company that owned Mfinda Oilfield. So Sainer was just a front for Cypher. The resupply won't be happening just yet. But we did learn that the Walker gears are transported out of Nova Braga Airport. Apparently, there's a distribution network on the Savannah that links all the PF outposts. I'll have the intel team investigate this network. If Cypher is supplying PFs with walker gears, the PFs have to be offering them something in return. We follow the money trail, and we might just find ourselves on Cypher's doorstep. Not bad. Fox emblem. Walker gear emblem. Oh, nice. The actual fox emblem. Nice, baby. That's what I'm here for. Cool. Uh, I guess that opens up our next main mission, which we'll jump straight into. Feels nice to clear a bunch of side ops out of the way and just be like, let's focus on the on the main ops. Get this uh, get this game going along nicely. Mission list Boss, updated. The intel team has come back with its report following its investigation into PF logistics. Cypher has to be involved with this distribution network somehow. One thing in particular caught my eye. A convoy that regularly crosses the savannah. On paper, it's just mined resources going to the government, but the security's much too heavy. At the very least, it's worth checking out. Take a look at the mission. Please select a mission. Trader's Caravan. Extract a cargo P uh, extract the cargo. Uh, a PF convoy is believed to be transporting as payment to Cypher. The cargo must be extracted along with the transport truck. Boss, about those walker gears deployed by the CFA. It appears that it's not just the CFA. PFs all along the Angola Zaire border are also getting equipped with them. The bipedal technology was developed by the Soviets. But Cypher's the one supplying it to the PS. The question is why? What's in it for them? The answer may lie in the compensation being traded to Cypher by the PFs. Many outfits operating in Africa get locally mined resources as spoils of war. Diamonds, nuggets of gold, and rare metals. According to the intel team, there's a PF convoy that regularly transports the goods. Escorted by armored vehicles, no less. Pretty heavy security for crossing the remote Angolan savanna. I can't imagine Cypher would be so interested in minerals alone. Those convoys have to be transporting something else. Something that holds the key to Cypher's plans. Boss, I want you to extract the truck, cargo and all, from the PF convoy. Let's find out what Cypher's real goals are. Yes, baby. Uh, I'm keen. I think I've got the sleep grenade. I don't know if I really need like the mine. The mine could be cool if you have like a whole bunch of people coming after you, but I think you may as well just do the sleep grenade. Um, feels pretty, pretty good to me. Pretty good to me. Um, like, obviously I'm actively only developing the things that I'm really invested in. Because I don't want to, like, drain all of my GMP in one go, you know? But I I actually, I really want to start looking into some other stuff. And we might do some more, like, lethal missions. I might be a bit more lethal in, like, um, side ops or free roam when I, when I get bored. But, like, really unique things like this. Hand cannon designed to fire grenades. Like, dude, what? <laughs> I, 
absolutely I absolutely love the the variety there it like mixes Drebin's shop from MGS4 where you could like just buy all of the things but mixes the Peace Walker uh, mechanic of the GMP and it kind of all plays all plays together which I which I really like select a mission. let's accept mission Trader's Caravan and we can just uh, I guess just make our way make our way across so we'll just sprint across the fields and jump right into the next main mission without even needing to take a break Episode 16, Trader's Caravan. So I guess um, when you start a main mission on the field, that's how it starts. Like you have like the mission data or information at one of those locations and you need to download it into your iDroid. Whereas if you do it from the ACC, it's all kind of, you get that information in your iDroid on the way. So then the thing yeah, and then that just disappears. So we'll just your objective is to steal an entire truck from a look away. convoy. We don't have a fix on the truck we want. But the Intel team has spotted the unit that's been tasked with escorting it. They're stationed at the guard post to the north of Nova Braga Airport on the Savannah. The rendezvous with our target will be any time now. Start by heading to that guard post. Then follow the escort unit. It should lead you right to the target truck. Boss, extract them from the mission area. You can check the target details on your iDroid. I'm used to I'm used to being able to time the credits when I'm in the helicopter, because by the time that snake kind of opens up the door and kind of sits outside, it's generally pretty safe. But when I'm in the field, I'm not so sure. <laughs> but um, yeah, I guess that's what happens if if you're accepting a main mission on the field. You download it into your iDroid as compared to just getting it on the on the ACC. That escort unit should rendezvous with a target after leaving that observation post. Hurry after them. Okay. Also, what's nice is uh, it looks like my suppressor, uh, even my C4, I think everything got refreshed um, entering a new mission. So that's kind of nice. So that saves you the uh, the deployment cost when you can go straight into another main mission. Analysis complete. Ooh. Analysis complete. Marker placed. Marker placed. No, get rid of that. Marker removed. Analysis complete. Marker placed. So you're all pretty good. All right. You're pretty good. You have arrived at the destination. Analysis complete. Analysis complete. Got a few, got quite a few A ranks in here. The escort is not here apparently, so I might need to interrogate someone first before extracting them. That's all right, D Dog. Let's get this dude because he's on his own. Did he spot me first? No. Good. The escort unit isn't there. We must be too late. Is there anything there that might lead us to the target? Let's look everywhere in the guard post. Have a look. <coughs> Talk. Intel baby, thank you. Has been updated. Okay. We got guards coming. I gotta extract this guy quickly. Okay, just need to get somewhere. Make sure I'm definitely out of sight. Right. Um. <sighs> I'll play the slow game with you. Just give me a second.
Analysis marker placed. Look at that synchronized. Look at that synchronized flashlight dance they got going on there. You have arrived at your destination. Speak. The escort unit is already en route to the rendezvous. There you go. So we're going to need to catch up to them. How are we going to catch up to them when I don't have a vehicle? I could. I guess I could supply drop. <laughs> I could supply drop a vehicle in. It's always possible. Oh, hang on. You gotta extract him. Oh, what? I swear that would have got him in the head. Coming too. Watch that. Come here. I'm not letting you contact anyone. <laughs> Go to sleep. Guard post captured. Okay. Now we already know that the 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 play at the dudes are on route. Based on that dude, but we'll also scan the intel file. So get it done. Leave the rest to us. You found an intel file. Use your iDroid to scan it. And we'll analyze it here. The most advanced piece of technology in the 1980s. I'd expect nothing less. Okay. Um Well crap. We need to extract the damn it. Okay, I need to do Actually, I need like some specific things because I want this mine. Please select a drop point. Supplies requested. Because we, if we need to capture the truck, we can do it with that mine. Uh, and then I need a car because <laughs> I need to. I need to drive. Supply drop complete. Please select a drop point. Supplies requested. Thank you. Vehicle drop complete. Thank you. Okay. We got four mines, so we should be able to plant a couple. And the predicted route is anywhere here. So I guess we'll just start and we'll just drive. Alright, let's go. Come on, D-Dog. I think we're going to start this way. Yeah. Only problem with riding on the roads is there is checkpoints. So let's try and skip the checkpoint. If possible. And we'll just follow the road, but not on the road. And I guess D-Dog should be able to point it out for us. Okay, cool. 
I pressed the wrong button. <laughs> I meant to press triangle when I have the eye droid out. So we can we can do one of these. While also trying to keep our eyes on the roads, that's gonna be uh... <laughs> uh I I wish you could just have a mini map without having the eye droid. <laughs> It makes everything so awkward. I guess I can just do this real quick. Just open it and close it just to check that I'm going the right way. the follow the whole path you know have a lovely casual drive and then hopefully we'll see a convoy um so i think there's like a there's an escort which is an armored vehicle because the mission details say to identify both vehicles i genuinely love just driving in a car with my dog <laughs> amazing okay now oh no <laughs> that was my fault um so we're about to come to hmm. so it's like this way and then this way and then this way and then this way and I'm assuming it might just like stop off at these points we need to hurry I don't know if you can like miss it because you know it was pointed out that like you can miss like you can fail mi the mission with Miller by waiting more than three days so I just wonder if this is going to be the same deal we got the rain and the thunderstorm coming in baby D-Dog doing God's work there. Marking everybody for me. Should keep us keep us nice and nice and covered in the storm. Analysis that soldier he isn't with the CFA. What could be CRS. So important that it would have required two major PFs to guard it. Analysis complete. Analysis Ooh, rocket complete. launcher. Analysis complete. CRS, huh? Okay, and that is the book and that. We need to go that way. We can go around. No need to alert another PF that we're here. We're on the right track. I love the atmosphere of of this. Like this is a like at least a positive of being outside is I really love the I really love the dynamic weather in the open world. Okay. Now they want us to go through here into the camp. So to that I say this way. Flawless boss. Perfect off-roading opportunity. Okay. Now we're going to try and avoid this camp. Okay, looks like we're going up to the oil field at this point. Someone's sleeping. A couple of people are sleeping, actually. Oh. 
so tempted to destroy this anti-air radar. Why are they s they're sleeping standing up? Why? Analysis complete. Oh, it's the ZRS still. Analysis. Oh shit! Hold on. Ah, fuck's sake! Fuck's sake! <sighs> oh, my dog's been shot. God damn it. Very interesting that they were sleeping sitting up, and that was the only distraction that I needed to then end up getting caught. And now, of course, where do we go? We can follow this road. Okay, that's the ooh, A plus plus. Huh? Just a little quick little extraction break. Got someone that I laid my eyes on. There's probably a whole bunch that I missed, but that's fine. Can't just spend the whole mission. Oh god! Dude. <laughs> Was that from that one animal? Two wheeling, baby. Dude, we're at the oil field. Like we've we've gone through all of the That's interesting. Maybe I should have interrogated the ZRS. Interrogating uh, a different group might have been a good idea. I wish we could aim. I wish that we could aim um, from the vehicle when it's stationary, at least. The transport truck hasn't arrived here yet. It's supposed to arrive here, okay. That's good to know. We can just wait here for it then. In that case, what I'll do... I'm assuming it's going to... Let's assume it's going to drive in the front gate, right? It's definitely got to drive in the front gate. Then we're going to park off to the side so there's not a vehicle that can be found. Make sure that this dude doesn't wake up. Goodbye. So, we drove the whole... He's coming too. Roger that. Ooh, they're on the move. I wonder if... I wonder if they're... Oh! I wonder if they're driving with the, the convoy. They might be driving with the convoy. That wouldn't surprise me. Oh my god. Let's 
is the downside to riding in a jeep. Because when you get spotted, you're kind of screwed. Oh. These dudes are... These dudes are so efficient! Jesus Christ. Insanely efficient. Well, I guess I'm just gonna fight people until the... until the convoy shows up. Probably not the smartest thing ever. Okay, there you go. They it, he, they were with the... They are with the, that vehicle. Yeah. Okay. I guess we could just... We could just drive to them and meet them there now. And just let the oil field be in disarray. We'll leave that mine on the ground because we've still got three more. <laughs> Takes down two whole trees. Very, very chaotic. We're doing, we're doing just fine. Thanks for asking. Okay. Intercept them before they get close to the minefield instead. It's harder during the daytime. Okay, let's see. Enemy presence detected. Alert has been updated. So I guess they'd be like stopping by. Maybe they're just like stopping. I'm gonna put this here just in case. All bases tight and security because I did not. Uh oh, the enemy's on combat alert. Now that they know we're chasing them, the target will make an end run to its destination. Hurry up and secure that truck. <laughs> When it all falls apart, dude, it all falls apart. Truck's on the move, but we've put the mine on the floor. We're committing. And there's the armored vehicle. That means the armored vehicle will get extracted first. Ready? This vehicle will get extracted. <gasps> it just destroyed it. Are you kidding me? <laughs> no! I'm annoyed that it destroyed the mine because I put so much planning into putting these fucking mines on the ground. And the really annoying thing about reflex is you're like, you get caught in reflex, you're like, I'm holding on to a fucking C4. <laughs> like, I can't cancel it. Transport truck. Throw a 
Attention to Cypher's plans. You can okay. get the escort unit's predicted route on your map. The target should link up with them somewhere along it. Let's do that again, but better. Now, because we know it's going to go from start to finish and it's going to end up at the Kaziba camp, let's do, let's just not even go to the oil field. We got too far ahead of ourselves, caused an alert, had to backtrack, and everything fell apart from there. Which I, I kind of love how everything can unfold when you make like one mistake and the dominoes just fall and you just like and then everything's like that because it's every 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 NPC enemy like base all of it HQ they all react in such a realistic way. It's genuinely really impressive to see like how well thought out and well realized this uh, this world is and all of the people. I, I, um, yeah, I'm really impressed by it. Like, they're, they're efficient, that's for sure. So I want to get rid of these containers. Now. To prevent these dudes from waking up and alerting everyone, we're just going to go for the old extraction. Um, we're going to plant on the road here the mines. Now. He's coming too. Roger that. It'll. It'll disable them. I'm annoyed that he destroyed one. I was like, had to try and desperately dive in front of the vehicle. Analysis complete. You gotta extract him. He's coming too. Roger that. There you go. That's the, there it is, right there, armored vehicle that we marked before, so we actually know exactly where it is now. So it's going to be stop, stopping into the camp. Kind of wish that we were faster and we got there first, but that's okay. We'll see where it, where it stops when we get in here. I believe they will stop. That truck is the target. Extracted out of the mission area. You can also drive it out of the hot zone yourself. Boss, the target has reached Kaziba camp. We don't have much time left. Hurry. Now they stop, right? Yes. Cool. They are stopping. Okay, this gives us a chance to get ahead of the game while they've stopped. Uh, yeah. Okay, this is just the chain reaction of being an idiot once again. Chain reaction of being an idiot. Once again! 
Oh my god. This just in. I'm an idiot. Okay, I need to be quick. Oh, it's all worth it because we got a music tape. It's all worth it because we got a music tape. Alright, give me a second. So the truck is currently not manned. So this is good. We're actually okay. We just gotta be quick to slip in here and I need to be aware of my suppressor. I love that we're in the daytime right now. This is really good. I just don't see this. I just don't see this going nicely. It's very intense. We might be lucky enough to get to this truck. Fault and recovery it. But then we're going to get spotted. Oh, dude, no. <laughs> Whoa. What the fuck? Oh. Oh, fuck. Oh no. That proves the cargo is headed to Cypher. Ooh. You can tranquilize them. Why are they all E rank? Why does why do they suck? Okay, we got missed. And now the tanks are unmanned as well. Okay. Can we actually tranquilize we can tranquilize them? Oh. Oh, I wish I had sleep grenades now. Mm. Mm. All of the people are all weird now. This is so weird. Can we... Can we just take him out? Will this work? Ugh. This will alert everybody if I do this. Select a drop point. Supplies requested. Supply drop complete. My sleep grenade is still being developed. Please select a drop point. Come on. Come on, supply drop. Come on. Supplies requested. Because they have a stun bar, this is like a mini, like, kind of boss type supply battle in a sense. Complete. We have to try and extract the transport truck. And I want to extract those other vehicles, but we also have to deal with the Skulls unit. Um... Hang on, I'm a, I'm a bit confused. Where did my... Where did my supply drop... Where did my supply drop for the sniper go? I called them both in. Uh, that's weird. Alright, let me just... Fuck around and call that one in again. That's weird. Please select supplies requested. Maybe because I didn't pick it up when I called in another one. The 
stun grenade's gonna be good, I think. Supply drop take him, complete. take him by surprise. Cause I don't know how the, I don't know how they work. I don't know if we we can fight them, but we're doing we're doing some prep work to see if we can, like stun grenade them. I don't know if we can get them in CQC. We might be able to. Or we can Trank Snipe them and see if that works. Apparently we could, you know, people like, why don't you just call in a supply drop on their head? Because we could do that with Quiet, apparently. Well, they sure have some tricks up their sleeves. You'll need some serious firepower to pierce their armor, boss. Call in support if you need it. Oh, to like, pierce their armor. Hmm. Okay, maybe not then. I'm pretty sure we would have gotten a checkpoint at the beginning of this, so we can maybe fuck around and experiment a bit. This was very unexpected. What would have happened if we approached them when they were not in the camp? Alright, let's see what the stun grenade does. Hmm. Hmm. I'm not I'm not very satisfied with that. Oh. Oh my god, <laughs> the pressure. No, okay, they're really tough. Ah, uh, what the fuck are they doing? What the fuck is that? Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> Dude! Alright, CQC, maybe? What the fuck? Hmm. Okay, maybe... Maybe you need to be, like, a god in order to tranquilize them. Because... I was doing... I was doing nothing to them. I put in all that prep work to, like... Talk to me. Do it non-lethal. And I don't think... I don't think that's gonna work. Okay. Wow. Okay. That's interesting. We did not get a checkpoint. Um, okay, let's try let's try and encounter them. Oh my god, I can't be bothered with the containers. It's just gonna alert people. We're gonna go around and we're gonna try and get them before they get into the camp and see if that changes anything. This is the wrong way to go. There's just fucking people everywhere. Alright. I'm abandoning the car. Fucking sunrise, dude. This checkpoint for a sunrise couldn't come at a worse time. I have a feeling that the story really wants you to uh, do the camp because then the skulls start, you know, possessing all of the people and makes everything much more difficult. I have a feeling that if we focus on just extracting the truck and also extracting the vehicles if we can and then just running away, because I think that's what's going to be expected of us. We should have a chance. And we can also, we can drive away in the, the four-wheel drive that's like driving, like the Jeep thing that's driving with them. Yeah. So, 
Let's put mines on the ground. Because that'll disrupt their operations. And I'm really wondering what'll ha I'm really wondering what'll happen if we do this early. Taking their sweet time. Because it seems that the skull unit is like in the truck itself. And then they like pop out. Okay, let's see what happens here. I'm pretty curious to see. Happens, it happens automatically, but you can stop them earlier, away from the camp. What an epic introduction. The, uh, maybe sleep grenades or the sleep mines and stun grenades and you know, all of that. Scott, if these bastards are pulling guard duty, that proves the cargo is headed to Cypher. Dude, they're so weird when they haven't found you, because they're just like, weird zombie things. Weird zombie things. Do you reckon you could sneak up behind them and do CQC? I highly doubt it, especially if they've got like a boss type bar. I'd really love to be able to do that. So, considering we need to apparently need something quite heavy duty to pierce their armor, I'd say that we just need to extract these things and then run away. Seems to be the best course of action. Far out. Definitely one of the weirdest parts of this game is the Skulls unit. Dog, we're out of here. Escape the mist. Oh, hello. Hi, guys. Wish I could take you out, but you seem to have uh, ridiculously strong stats. Oh! oh. D-Dog, get in! Get in! Get in! 
Get in! Please get in. I don't think my dog can get in anymore. Oh! Dee Dee! <laughs> they just fucking stabbed the car. Fuck. I see diamonds flashing, but we can't. Wait a minute, what's... F Why is this still an objective marker? Didn't we extract the truck? Oh, did we not extract the truck? What the hell? Wait a minute. What? This is... Wait, what? Okay. You've completed your objective. Now get out of the hot zone. I must have done that wrong. <laughs> and then I just like in the heat of the moment just went, alright, bye. Um I'm not gonna be able to get away. I'm not I'm gonna die. I'm not gonna be able to get away from them. I'm fucked. I'm not gonna be able to get away. I need to get out of the mist. But I can't because they keep running ahead of me. And because I'm running, I can't heal. Ah! <laughs> Fuck. Dude. These guys are straight fucked. Alright. Um, if I drive in a vehicle, it's going to get stabbed and destroyed. Extract the PF transport truck. Um, it, it means it means I need. It means I need D horse. Bye, D dog. <laughs> when he when he came out of the car, I'm like, no. Buddy, departing area of operations. All right, give me my fucking give me D horse, and we'll complete. We'll escape. We'll escape on D horse. And then capture the vehicles and then run away. I love that. Um, he's like, uh, Miller's like, yeah, you can even drive the truck out if you want to. I'm like, how the hell are we going to be able to do that? We're going to escape the skulls the only way we know how on the D horse. <laughs> Because they can't stab my D horse. <laughs> Extraction failed. <gasps> Extract failed. That's a that's annoying. <laughs> Complete. How the hell could we extract these guys? <laughs> we'll just we'll just hold up the skulls and fault and recovery them. Best way, I think. Ninety percent, dude, and it fucking failed with the first one. That's ridiculous. Extract the truck, get onto my D horse. That is the plan. This isn't not no, nah, this is not gonna work. Is 
There's like some weird fucking horror movie shit when this starts to happen. See, if I threw too far, then they're just like not even gonna. Oh! Dude! <laughs> I did not think he was right behind me. See, we can throw much further, but it's like... Oh, never mind. Alright. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Extraction. Let's go. D-horse. D-horse. The truck's on the ground! Again! What the fuck? What's the deal there? What's going on here? Okay, there it goes. I was like, what the fuck? So that's what happened last time. Like, that's what happened last time. I was like, hang on, didn't even extract? What? Can't stab my horse. We're out of here. Jesus Christ, man. I'm annoyed that in this round, that one of the vehicles we tried to extract failed at like 90%. Yeah. <laughs> That's such a shame. Holy fuck, man. How are the skulls even possible, dude? This took way longer than I anticipated because whenever whenever you try and do it non-lethal and you try and stealth it, there's so much prep work that goes into it, only for it to all fall apart and you're like, ah, oh, god damn. My plan failed. And now here I am on my D-horse. Trying to run away from these absolute maniacs. Won't leave me alone. Come on! Don't get stuck, man. No! This is the hard part about off-roading with your horse, is I'm getting trapped. Jesus Christ. This mist has got to end at some point, right? God, man. Yes, we left the hot zone. But the mist is still going. Okay, it just ends. <laughs> there you go, the mist is gone. Bruh. Mission complete, boss. That was wild. That was just weird. The skulls, there you go, so they would have been in the credits. That took much longer than anticipated. All to extract one vehicle. Well, Cypher was guarding. Cypher was guarding it, so that does confirm it. Boss, we searched the truck you recovered. There were two primary types of cargo. First, drums of malachite, a copper ore. That took up most of the truck bed. But Malachite isn't valuable enough to warrant an escort. The real cargo was likely the second item. A shielding container. The contents? Yellow cake. That's right. The raw material for a nuclear weapon. That might point to the weapon to surpass Metal Gear Emmerich told us about. But who can say? Thing is, there isn't a lot of it. Not enough to make a nuclear warhead. Give us some time. We'll look into it. Try to figure out why they had this under such close guard. Hmm. Cypher's cargo in Africa today, number three. Wow, dude. That could have been handled so much better. But it's fine. We make do. We make do. 
At least we got out of there. Eventually. <laughs> Eventually. That trying to extract the truck and then it not extracting and then having to extract it a second time was very weird. Don't, don't know what that was about. That's right. That's uh, another another main mission down. Um, and list. we just left the hot zone. This is an emergency. Mission list updated. We have two intel team agents undercover at the PF, contract forces of Africa. The CFA have captured them both. They don't have long to live. You've got to get them out of there ASAP. This means Cypher might be getting wind of our existence. We may need to move more cautiously from now on. I just hope this incident has nothing to do with him. I've added the details to your mission list. Don't let him down, boss. Please so, rescue the intel agents. Rescue the two intel team members being held at Kaziba Camp. Alright, well we were just at Kaziba Camp. Uh, so I'm sure, I'm sure we could do that for him. So we'll make that our mission and then we'll do this. Uh, I'm going to have uh, a break and then we'll get into cassette tapes uh, while we're on our way to the next mission. All right, ready to jump in. So we're going to accept the Intel agent's mission. Mission accepted. The map has been updated. So we'll go on a nice little ride uh, to the mission objective, which should be... Oh, okay. That's the mission start point. I was like, cool, we'll just ride to the Kaziba camp. No. <laughs> we have to go there to get the intel to then go into the camp. Um, cool. That's further than I expected, but that's fine. Let's play a couple of tapes. We've got Cypher's Cargo and Africa today. And then we'll ride on over there. Boss, I have the report on that cargo we stole from Cypher's truck. The PF was transporting two things. The analysis of that malachite has come back first. Naturally, the main compound is copper. There's also a small amount of cobalt. Nothing unusual so far. Southern Zaire is a well-known copper belt. However, in addition to these, we also detected a trace amount of uranium. The content percentage, though, is too low for nuclear development. It most likely came from Shinkalobwe mine. That's where the uranium in that area comes from. The mine's closed, as all the high-purity uranium ore dried up a long time ago. But you could probably still find it there in small quantities. That said, there are plenty of other uranium mines that are in operation, like in Niger, Namibia, South Africa. Why go to an abandoned mine to scrape up whatever's left and ship it out in mass quantities without refining it? They were transporting that yellow cake, too, which would suggest they have the technology to refine uranium. Anyway, that about sums it up. Unfortunately, the analysis of that yellow cake is taking a little longer. I'll let you know when it's done. Whoa, whoa. Cool. They're doing the yellow cake. Africa today. Zero risk security aren't as hardcore a military outfit compared to the other two PFs in this region. The company sends operators to conflict regions around the world, not just Africa. They have decades of combined experience. They're also based out of South Africa. Their headquarters is in Johannesburg. A lot of their work involves corporate security for South African companies, but a good number of their operators are retired South African military. So don't mistake them for a bunch of security guards. I don't know, man. Zero risk security? Sounds pretty sus to me. They literally have the name Zero in their name. You can't trust anything that's associated with the word Zero <laughs> in the Metal Gear Solid franchise. And then it'll be revealed that Zero was the Zero Risk Security all along. Every single soldier. It was him! It all starts with Zero, baby. Leave me alone. I'm not getting attacked by a wild animal today. I'm just going to peacefully go to my starting point on the mission. And then we'll start the mission. There you go. That wasn't so long. D horse is pretty nice. I definitely prefer D dog, however. 
Extraction arrived at mother base. It's because of how useful he is. Rescue the Intel agents. Three main missions in one episode. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Let's see how complicated this is. You go to rescue the intel agents. Oh, they just turned into the Skulls unit. Skull face pops out of your ass to say, ah, it was me all along. Look away from the... Uh, Two of our intel team members are being held captive by the PF in that area, the CFA. Your job is to rescue them. They don't have long to live. It appears that one of our two men has broken out of the encampment and is on the run. He contacted us to say he was surrounded. That's the last we heard from him. Your map is marked with a predicted field of movement based on where his transmissions cut off. The other man is still captive inside right, the good. encampment. Boss, rescue our men. Extract them both and get them back to Mother Base. Let's refresh our loadout too. We no longer have the rocket launcher. Full suppressor. Nice. Alright. Where's that vehicle coming from? Enemy crew detected. The map has been updated. I like that you can have two versions of quiet. Water quiet to recon an outpost. How cool is that? Or to commence sniper support. Enemy analysis complete. The map has been updated. Emergency. We had two intel team agents undercover at the PF contract forces of Africa. The CFA have captured them both. They don't have long to live. You've got to get them out of there ASAP. Since our mission at the oil field, we're no longer just business rivals to the CFA. We're enemies, and they want revenge. Our men will be killed the moment the interrogation's complete. And then it won't just be a matter of two dead soldiers. Their execution will be a catalyst, sparking resentment within Diamond Dogs against the CFA. Our men will push us to retaliate. Then things will cease to be about business. We'll be starting a personal war. That's not what we set out to do. The two men are being held in Kaziba camp. Hurry, boss. They're counting on you. Don't let them down. Dude, let's try... Please so... A deployment point. Let's put Quiet in Kaziba camp. Off goes my horse. Now, does that mean Quiet will... Buddy, departing area of operation. Does that mean Quiet will drop in with the same loadout that I've given her previously? So she should have my tranquilizer Analysis sniper. Complete. Analysis complete. There she is. It won't focus though. That's unfortunate. I wish it could focus on her. In she goes. Okay, off she goes to go scout the outpost. Infiltrated out the map has been updated. And then does she stay presence detected? Does she stay with me? Is she going to stay my buddy? I don't know. Oh, there she is. Guess we'll, I uh, guess we'll find out. Because then she might just like retreat to a nice lovely location and keep her sniper out. Maybe. 
Enemy presence detected. The map has been updated. Yeah, she's just sprinting around the fucking base for me. <laughs> Amazing. Well done. Well done, quiet. Good recon. Should I, like, properly extract these this time? Oh, she's running over this way now. The map has been updated. Quickly before he brings the torchlight over. Nice. We did it. Okay. Now there's a prisoner up there. So I guess this must be a bonus dude. Quiet's just chilling here now. Quiet. Cool. There she is. Our staff member on the run last contacted us from that force. The enemy PF already has troops spread out in a manhunt to find him. Keep your eyes open. Extract our man before their search team can find him. So many noises. So many things happening. Annoying. Analysis complete. What are they checking on? Every everyone was talking at once, so I literally got nothing. I got quiet's humming, Miller's talking, and all of the bases going CP, CP, and I don't know what they were saying. Got that follow up. Dispose of the prisoner as per the playbook. They're gonna dispose of the prisoner? No. Everyone's talking at once! Jesus Christ! Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Mission failed. Well, is that just because I took too long? They were just like, oh yeah, just kill him. I was like, what the hell? Find our two Intel team members and rescue them from Come you. Come on, man. We need to get both of them back safe and sound. I've sent VIs of the targets to your iDroid. Take a good look. Alright, I guess let's just do this a little faster then. Otherwise they just get killed immediately. Good morning. Mm. Close, but no cigar. No cigar for Big Boss. Analysis complete. Uh -oh. okay. I mean, they're already in alert status anyway. Alright, there's a prisoner in here. So let's just get him out immediately. Subject on board. Leave the rest to us. Okay. 
We got some information out of that soldier you extracted. The squad was on their way to the encampment to execute our intel team member. We also now know exactly where they're keeping the target. I'm sending the location to your iDroid. Kaziba camp. Good. Enemy it's outpost. It's got good visibility and not many places to hide. Use the landscape wherever possible. Oh, she's not silenced. Fire. Quiet. Don't you just wish that Quiet had a had a silenced tranquilizer? That's alright, that's a good distraction. Quiet's the distraction, I'll get this dude out of here. Okay, I guess because I didn't get it in that, I got it in that checkpoint. You never mind. You destroyed their anti-air radar. It wasn't one of the targets, but that's put a hole in their air surveillance. The chopper will be able to get in close now. You can designate a landing zone near the outpost. Quiet go. Quiet, you're leading them all to me. Alright. See you later, buddy. Analysis complete. Off off you go, I guess. Where is she? Okay, she's over there. That dude's just out of here. We'll wait for this chopper to get in because we destroyed the anti-air radar, which is nice. This is B -quad. And then we gotta go rescue the other dude. Support quiet is so much better. I love her being able to trink enemies instead. Oh no, don't get on. No, get off. Get off. Get off. Press the wrong button. Oh, she missed. Support helicopter has Fire. arrived. <laughs> I love, I love it. I love support quiet. Fire. Caution, rain approaching. Nice, she even highlighted weapons for me to pick up. That's Fire. nice. OK. 
Okay. At least she distracted everybody enough to not follow through with their executing plans. Our staff member on the run last contacted us from that forest. The enemy PF already has troops spread out in a manhunt to find him. Keep your eyes open. Okay. Extract our man before their search team can find him. Check his location on your eye droid. You've reached the target's predicted field of movement. If he's gone to ground, he'll have hidden himself somewhere in that area. Support helicopter has arrived. Support helicopter has arrived. What information do we get out of the Intel file obtained. Extraction arrived at the base. They must have dropped it trying to contact us again. Judging from its data lock, not much time has passed since the transmitter was dropped. He should be close by. I'm updating the target's predicted field of movement. Oh, of course you got fucking helmets on! Of course you got a fucking helmet on. And you're a he- it's a heavy armor so I can't even get through. That is so obnoxious. Oh, he just shot his friend. Okay. Oh man, and Quiet's not going to be able to help me out with these dudes. Yep, you, Quiet can't help me out with these dudes. Have to do this myself. You can take that dude out there, quiet, if you wanted. Nice. Okay, this is where the other dude is. Oh! Just fucking picked him up like it was nothing. There he is. Subject on board. Found our guy. Get out of here. Come on. Got him. Flawless. Flawless execution. Confirmed extraction of both targets. Boss. The map has all the diamond dogs. Enemy prison. Thank you. The map has been updated. Get out of here together, quiet. Support helicopter Roger. requested. Yeah. Let's go. Flawless execution, as always. Just from what I'd expect with a man with the same code as the boss. Yeah, quiet on support's pretty fun. I like that you can just plant her in on like a sniper position as well. That's also really fun. Like calling her in as a scout for the area instead of like calling in D-Dog and then scouting the area as you go in with, with D-Dog. There's just like so much choice. And it's my favorite. And now we wait for the chopper and then we can and then we can get out of here. We got another music tape. Too shy. Nailed it. This is Bequad. <laughs> she's she's looking at an animal right now to tranquilize. 
Oh, quiet. Yeah, quiet. Tranquilize the animal for me. <laughs> for some reason, she's not uh, getting to the chopper with me like she was last time. And now she'll just appear on the on the chopper <laughs> when we get on. She'll just be here. Hey, quiet. So cool. Mission complete, boss. Departing. Going back to Mother Base. Dark Python. Extraction. A brutal serpent. Yes, mission complete, boss. That was exceptional. Thank you. It was okay. What information are we going to find out from the Intel team members? Cypher's cargo number two and more tapes related to quiet. Key item, master certificate marking. Nice. So As casual, I wonder what Quiet's tapes are about. We'll do a quick visit to, to Mother Base, see if there's anything that pops up, and I'm also gonna see if we can check in with Pass with that second memento photo, see what happens. Side ops One of the list job offers updated. we received concerns me. Mission list There's a updated. PM commander who's been talking big about getting into the nuclear arms trade. This could be connected to that yellow cake. And there's another contract I'd like you to handle. It's a wet job, but we need to divert Cypher's attention. Check the mission list for the details. I got flies around. <laughs> Is this because I haven't showered in so long? I have flies all over me. That's gross. Quiet, don't look at me. I haven't showered. Leave me alone. I've been on the field. You wouldn't understand. You wouldn't get it. All right, we actually got more stuff. Quiet's mission performance, yellow cake, uh, she got love for mine, and private force, and the mine. All right, what, what we'll do, what we'll do, Please select a mission. Two missions. Uh, what we'll do is we'll head back to Mother Base. I have a shower. Someone said not to shower. Get stinky. I'm assuming the flies mean Please I'm stinky. Uh, we'll go to the medical platform because we're going to chat to pass again. To Mother Base. Um, and we'll see. We'll see if we can show her the memento photo. Be like, remember who you are. You're living a lie. Sort of deal. See if she wakes up. And then have a well-earned shower and then listen to the um, to the cassette tapes. You can even hear the flies, that's so dumb. Nice work today, boss. <laughs> oh. Welcome back. Oh, this is what happens when you're stinky. <laughs> Great to see you safe, boss. Snake, <laughs> you stink. <laughs> oh my fucking god. That's so funny. Snake, you stink. Sure. Oh, that's so funny. All right, well, we're back on the command platform again. Let's go back to the medical one. 
Or I guess, uh... Quiet's back to chilling out. Please select a delivery point. Because she doesn't come off the chopper with us. Um, go to the medical platform. <laughs> That's such a great detail. Ocelot just being like, Snake, what the fuck, man? Personal hygiene, please. Please. No, cutscene music. Alright, talk over the cutscene music. Quickly run in here. Quiet's not doing anything. That's cool. Alright, quickly talking over the music. Yep. Woo! Uh, probably my probably one of my favorite songs that's on this soundtrack in this game. Love it to pieces. Wish I didn't have to talk over it. Um, I think I... Isn't it? Can I go in? Yes. Let's have a look. Oh, snake. Hi. What is it, Snake? I have another photo. Yes, we can. Or is it the same photo? Remember Professor Galvez on his instrument? Oh, <gasps> yes. Day? Different photo. Such a funny sound for a musical instrument. He said the Soviets invented it. Everyone sure seemed impressed. Music has no borders. The professor taught me that. Where is Professor Galvez anyway? Rocket peace! <laughs> I am so tired. He rocket pieced himself to death. Just lie here a while. <clears throat> okay. What's she going to say this time? Let's have a listen. Okay, we need to get those memento photos for this. They serve a purpose. What happens once we do all of them, though? The real me. I am. Mm hmm. That was her second dialogue before, wasn't it? Or is she just going to repeat the same dialogue? I was really hoping we'd get new dialogue for each photo. Mm, my stomach. Yeah, okay. That is new dialogue. Snake. Ah, oh. they get put up on the wall with each one. Okay. My stomach. Interesting. Cool. Good to know. Cassette tape entry number one. Pause diary. Pause diary. Held on Mother Base. They are calling it Peace Day. Snake and his men may be without a nation, but they are still an army, and that means sometimes they have to fight the bad guys. Of course, they should not fight at all. It is obvious to me that any problem can be solved with reasonable discussion. Maybe Snake and the others think so too, because the idea is to set aside war for one day a year and relax in peace. I do not know how it came about, but apparently Snake and Miller got the idea while they were talking. And everyone on Mother Base went along with it. To think that deep down they all share a love of peace, that makes me happy. But never mind that. Somehow I have ended up singing on stage. <coughs> Miller was all, come on, both our names mean peace. It will be great. Why does that mean we have to be in a band? Then he roped Professor Galvez in too, saying, Hey, Galvez comes from peace too. We are the perfect act. I am not sure Miller really understands the origins of the name Galvez. But then again, you always have to take Miller's talk with a grain of salt. What I cannot believe is, he went and told everyone we'd be performing together without even asking my opinion. Now everyone thinks it is all been decided. I like to sing. But I have never had to perform in front of a crowd. 
I do not think I'm up to this. But everyone seems to be looking forward to it. I guess I would hate to let them down. And anything is better than letting Miller sing. <laughs> oh, that was mean. Miller said he was going to write a song for us. I wonder what it will be like. It is funny. The more nervous I get, the more I find myself looking forward to it. I'm wondering if this is um, Pass currently recording a diary based on her memories or where she's currently at. Because it says Pass's diary continued. I don't know. So it might be continued on as in because her mind is currently in that period of time or it's continued on in those original tapes from 1974 but continued. Um, not sure, but let's listen to these tapes. Um, so this is like the last little part of the episode where we'll listen to these final tapes, uh, and then we'll round it out. Boss, sorry to keep you waiting. We finally kept me waiting, huh? Yellow cake cipher was moving. There was nothing unusual about the composition of the yellow cake itself. Most of it was oxidized uranium, with the rest being impurities, various metals, as well as traces of organic matter. What's interesting is the composition of these impurities. When we checked them against the impurities found in the copper ore, it was clear the yellow cake didn't come from Shinkalobwe, meaning they went to the trouble of mining two sources of uranium, then transported them together in different states. Another thing, we detected a very thin layer of highly enriched uranium in the middle of the yellow cake. Now that is very interesting. It may not be a lot, but it points to the existence of uranium enriching technology. After all, yellow cake can't naturally produce highly enriched uranium. If they could mass produce this, they'd be just one step away from a gun barrel type nuclear bomb. But uranium enrichment requires advanced technology and a large scale facility. If that kind of place existed in Zaire, the Soviet Union wouldn't sit idly by. And there's another question. Where were they transporting the yellow cake and malachite uranium? The first place that comes to mind is South Africa. The government was supposed to have abandoned nuclear weapons development after caving to international pressure. But rumors persist that it's continued in secret. Mm. Plus, CRS were escorting the truck, and they're based out of South Africa. And then South Africa does have an abandoned test site. If Cypher's involved with nuclear development in South Africa, but how would that fit with their weapon to surpass Metal Gear? We need more information. Interesting. Shinkalobwe. There's a name I haven't heard in a while. The US bought a lot of uranium from Shinkalobwe mine during World War II for the Manhattan Project. They even sent a squad from the Army Corps of Engineers to reopen the mine after it was flooded. That's how good its uranium must have been. With that, the world's first nuclear test was a success. Shikolobwe uranium might have been used in the Hiroshima and Nagasaki bombs, too. Just hearing its name is like seeing all the phantoms of the war rise up to haunt us. But all the uranium's dried up, and the mine's been closed for years. So someone reopened it. Right. Zero Risk Security seized control of the area and were forcing locals to work in it. And the Zairean government was getting a slice of what they took in exchange for looking the other way. Mobutu has to finance his tastes somehow. He'll gladly sell the rights to some old mine. The question is, why would Zero Risk Security do this kind of thing? Or rather, why were their employers, Cypher, interested in an abandoned mine? Maybe getting trace amounts of uranium, yet to the naked eye it appears to be ordinary malachite. Meaning security would be lax. Mm -hmm. Not a very efficient way of obtaining it, but easier to move. But how would they enrich it at its destination? Did the yellow cake really have a layer of highly enriched uranium in it? Having trouble believing it? No. If they say it's real, then it's real. In which case, they might have some enrichment method that we don't know about. And this was to test it out. It's possible. And that would mean it's almost complete. It's almost complete. See, we've already got... I just haven't bothered to equip number three. I probably should. <laughs> that might increase uh, GMP, maybe. Um, and then I'm thinking... I don't know. It doesn't really come about that often, and it's very expensive. <laughs> so I'm just like... I could probably make do without it, to be honest. Where 
where is she? You mean quiet? In her cell, of course. Why did you send her out with the boss on that mission? She proved herself well enough, didn't she? The boss sure knows talent when he sees it. That woman will never be one of us. She's targeting him. Don't forget, we do owe her one. What's that supposed to mean? Remember what happened when she first got here? She shot down the aircraft Cypher sent after us. Not only that, she hit the cockpit. Who else could have done that? We're talking about a fighter jet traveling at Mach speed. What's your point? She hadn't been there. The boss's chopper would be at the bottom of the ocean right now. Or, it would have been followed right back to Mother Base. So let's say she does have some elaborate scheme in the works. If you want to catch her in the act, all we can do is sit back and wait. On the other hand, if she swears allegiance to the boss like our other Fulton recruits, he couldn't ask for a better partner. Oh, she's got you fooled. I have eyes on her. If she tries anything, she'll regret it. We lose nothing either way. Interesting. What if I lose my life? Rogue Coyote operates mainly out of Africa these days. Of the three PFs, they're the smallest. However, they scooped up most of the Rhodesian SAS after the country collapsed four years ago. Picture their entire organization as one big special forces unit. With Rhodesia a British colony, the Rhodesian SAS had its origins in 22 SAS C Squadron. They started out as a group known as the Southern Rhodesia Volunteers, but in 51 they were incorporated into 22 SAS as members of the British Commonwealth and deployed to fight guerrillas in the Malayan emergency. Even now, 22 SAS keeps the C Squadron designation empty in recognition of their service. In a way, you could say the SAS almost makes up the core of Rogue Coyote. Later on, they were bolstered by other talent, including former Cellus Scouts and 32 Battalion. These guys are direct descendants of the best special forces in the world. They won't go down without a fight. Don't get careless. Kunganga Mine. A civil war has been going on in that region for the last 20 years. It's being fought by what are now two ethnic groups, the Buta and the Mbele. Originally, you could barely tell them apart. But the reason for the current armed conflict goes back to World War I. After the war, their land was colonized by a European power, and it decided to give local control to the Buta. That split the two groups into rulers and subjects, laying the foundations for an inevitable civil war. The friction between them remained even after they won independence from Europe. The Buta are holding on to power to this day, and the Mbele rebels continue to fight back. The conflict is funded by locally mined gold, rare metals, diamonds. They've used the money from those to arm themselves, buy oil and even hire PFs. The Buta administration owns the mining rights to Kunganga Mine. But most of the laborers are Mbele, who they've taken prisoner. The product they've gouged out of their land is bought up by cheap Western corporations. And the civil war is fueled by the profits. That's how it goes. One country's people is split apart by another country. Then the two groups tear up their own land for money in order to fight each other. Now this civil war started by a foreign power is the norm, and it's sucking up all the country's resources. PFs are just the same. They follow the money, taking war with them wherever they go. That goes for us too. It's an endless river of bloody retaliation, and we are standing downstream. Should we make a stand and staunch the flow? Or wade in amongst the corpses and make a bigger splash than the rest. We'll follow your lead, boss. Alright, cool. Cassette tapes listen to... <laughs> Box sledding discovered. Incredible. Uh, guys, thank you so much for watching this episode of Metal Gear Solid V. Um, have a, a great time smashing out those three main missions. Um, I can't wait to see what comes up next time. And also, puzz and more quiet stuff. So I, I like to see how this is going. Maybe I should be keeping quiet as a buddy a bit more often and we might be getting some more tapes or some more development. But all in all, um, just again, still heavily enjoying myself and I hope you guys are too. Uh, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.